Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 12 that explains lists. A list is a group of values. The values in a list are called items. A single list may have items of different data types like numbers, strings or even other lists. However, it is common for a list to have items of one data type only. Lists support indexing which means that we can get a single item of a list. Lists also support slicing which means that we can get any section of a list. Lists are mutable which means that we can change a list. We can add, remove, update items or any section of a list. A list may have another list as an item. The member list is called the nested list. Now let us see the format of a list in Python. A list is put within square brackets. The items are separated by commas. Each of these items, item 0, item 1 and so on can be numbers or they can be strings. Now let us see lists in action in Python. So here we have a list of customers say C. Now it has four members Anna, Brandy, Cherry and Drew. We can echo this list. The indexes of these items are 0, 1, 2 and 3. The indexes start from 0. So for example, if we want to see what is C0, this is going to be the first element of the list. Similarly, C1 will be the second element of the list. That is indexing. Now we can get any slice of the list. So for instance, C1 colon 3. What this means is, that all items from index 1 up to but excluding item of index 3. So this will give us items with index 1 and 2. Now we can exclude one of the indexes also in slicing. So index 1 colon and we do not specify the second index. This will give us all items from the index 1 to the end of the list. Now as mentioned lists are mutable so we can update any item of the list. So if I assign some other value to C1 this updates the list and now if we see the second item of the list has been changed from Brandy to Beth. We can even update any section of the list for instance C3 colon is equal to an empty list. Now this will remove the slice from the list. Now if we see the list, the items from index 3 onwards have been removed. Next we can use the plus operator to combine two lists. For example C plus and we can specify another list. with a couple of items and this results in a new list with five items. Also we can use the in comparison operator to check if an item is a member of the list or not. So for example we can check whether the string cherry is in the list C or not. So this returns true because this is a member of the list. We can also use a not in operator. So for example, the old item of the list, not in the list C, this also gives us true. There is a useful list function that can convert a string or a range of numbers into a list. So for example, we write list 
and we give a string like hello now this returns a list with each character as an item of the list we can also make a list from a range range of 10 now range 10 means all integers from 0 to 9 the list function converts this range into a list so thank you and see you in the next tutorial